Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new ray trace translucency in Unreal Engine 5.6 main on Git. Like always, let me go ahead and show you that this is not clickbait. This is 5.6. You can access this on Git if you have access. I know I made a video about this earlier, but I think I found the second CVAR that works with the CVAR that I made a video about earlier on. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's start from the beginning so I can kind of showcase what's going on. Uh, there was some concern about refraction. I'm going to go ahead and tackle that as well. So right now, this scene right here is just raster. All right, for the longest time, uh, ray tracing translucency didn't really look that good. Uh, for majority of the time, I'm just using raster in my renders. So here we are with it off. And if I go to the post-process volume here, now, first of all, like I mentioned earlier, you will need hardware ray tracing for this to work. So you got to set all that up in the project settings. You should know how to do that already. I've showed that a million times. And in the post-process volume, we're going to be using hit lighting. You must absolutely use hit lighting. And right here under translucency, we've always had this. This is nothing new. It's been here before. And there's also a ray trace translucency in there. But as you can see, it doesn't look that good. And this is where the confusion was earlier. So if I go to tra ray tracing, yes, I can switch this if I want to. Whenever I have ray tracing on without the new CVAR. But you're gonna see later when I turn on the CVAR, this will not do anything whatsoever. So let's go with say, this is the regular ray tracing. This is the old method. This is nothing new. Uh, we'll set it right there and we'll turn on refraction so you can kind of see what that looks like. I know some of y'all wanted to see that. So that's what it looks like with refraction on currently, right? In 5.5, .5, it should at least. So this is what it looks like, which it looks pretty good. I think somebody in the comments actually mentioned that this actually looks better than the new method. But again, that's totally up to you. So let's go ahead and switch that to one. And let's turn off refraction right now. Because what we're going to do is we're gonna put in the new CVAR, which is gonna be which is gonna be R dot ray traced translucency. And you're gonna see all of the CVARs in here. And we're gonna switch the allowed one to one. And I'll put the uh, actual text on the screen right now. And right now, you'll see that we have the new translucency method, CVAR, in Unreal Engine 5.6. All right, so here we are. And again, in here, in the ray tracing, if I were to set this to like 8, 12, 99, 50, it's not going to do anything, all right? So somebody kind of mentioned that, like, hey, you didn't add anything in the refraction rays. I mean, even if I turn this on, and I type in a number in there, it's not doing anything. And that's where the second CVAR comes into play. So now if I go to this console command, and it's going to be called use ray trace refraction. Currently, you're going to see that that's set to zero. And I'm going to put a question mark in there. And it says whether to use ray trace refraction, which currently doesn't work well with rough refraction or simulate it using a screen space effect. So we'll set that to one. And now you're going to see now the new ray trace translucency has refraction. Again, if I switch these on and off, doesn't really do anything. All right. Because I have the new CVAR turned on. Now, again, I'm just messing around with this in here. If you are an Unreal Engine dev uh, working for Epic Games, let, let us know in the comments below. But right now, kind of playing around with these settings, the post-process volume, currently, you cannot change the settings of refractions. You're going to need to change it in here by turning this on and off, all right? So that being said, whenever these things come out on Git, they don't really come with like documentations. So what I usually do is come in here and just play around with the settings. Like this is not on the main Unreal Engine 5. I think they're probably going to release this in Unreal Engine 5.6, which probably Unreal Fest, if I had to guess. Um, majority of the stuff that I cover here on the channel usually do make it in the real final version. I don't think they're going to get rid of this one. This looks way too good for them to get rid of. I think this is for here to stay. Now, I was really like bummed out when I started removing ray trace stuff in Unreal Engine 5 from Unreal Engine 4.27, but it seems like they are slowly kind of making their way back in the actual Unreal Engine 5, which is nice. That said, again, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Like always, 
I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.